Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great and rare Class B Plus motorhome from Parkway RV Center. Hadn't had one of these in a while, folks. This is a 2001 Carrigo built by Carriage. High end little motorhome. This is the model number 2310. Only 24 foot long bumper to bumper. Folks, this thing's as easy to drive as an SUV or a pickup truck. I mean, ideal for a couple. Got a stationary bed in the back. I mean, just neat little motor homes. Every one of these I get sells within a day or two. It's only got 33,000 miles on it. Built on a Chevrolet one-ton 3500 chassis. Tires were put on, well, they were built, uh, manufactured, I should say, 28th week of 2016. Got a 2816 date code. Looked like virtually brand new, so I don't think this had many miles put on it. And um, so you're not going to worry about tires for several more years. Chevrolet chassis, it's got the big block 7.4 liter, 454 cubic inch if you're an old school guy like me, Vortec V8. 24 foot, folks, that's it. I mean, this is only about three foot longer than one of those little Class B camper vans, but you've got, you've got about double the interior space for only three more feet. Built on a dually rear end, so it's very stable going down the road. Uh, that 454, folks, going to give you all the power you'll ever need, and you'll never have to worry about putting that motor in a strain either, especially if you're towing a vehicle behind it. Does have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Got a 4KW Onan generator. Got the rear view camera system. Got a crank out awning. Folks, this unit literally just came in. We hadn't even washed it yet. I wanted to go ahead and put it online because. Every time I shoot one of these for weeks, my inbox blows up people wanting to buy another one. So here you go, folks. 2310, the smallest one they make. Built by carriage, high quality. Um, dash airs, ice cold. People who owned this thing owned it for four or five years. And they just decided to get out of RVing, decided it wasn't for them. So I actually bought it from the um, last owners. Very aerodynamic. Uh, we drove it about five hours in here. It did great. We towed a little, uh, we got a little Ford Ranger pickup truck we towed behind it. Got a 4KW Onan generator. Let me go ahead and point this out, folks. For those of you who noticed, I'm hooked into shore power. The generator, and the people told me this, the generator when they bought it almost five years ago didn't work. They never needed it. They always used the dash air, like a lot of people do with these little motorhomes. The generator cranks up and runs for a few seconds and dies. So, Chances are it's a carburetor where it's, it's probably gunked up or where it's set for so long. I am going to fix it, but I can't promise I'll fix it before you come to look at it. I'm going to try to if my guys get uh, time get time to do it. It's a relatively simple fix, uh, but it will be fixed for that 24.9 option A price guaranteed. And like I said, I'll do my best to have it fixed uh, before you come down and look at it. But if not, I may have to plug it into power if you want to cool it off. Well, it'll cool off with the dash air, but if you want to cool it off quicker, let me say. Like I said, the previous owners used it for five years. Never had a reason to use a generator, but it's there just in case you want a boondock camp. 2310, got a six-gallon DSI water heater. Got the roof rack. Let's look inside. Of course, Carriage Inc., who I'm sure many of you are familiar with. As we step inside, folks, it's clean. Now, I may replace the carpet. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put it online. It does have a couple of stains in the carpet that may or may not come up. And be honest with you, for no more carpet that's in this thing, I may just go ahead and replace it. Um, because it's only got carpet right in the very front. The back's got linoleum, which looks great, by the way. And the cab has a rubber mat. So, I mean... There's literally probably two yards of carpet in here. That's it. Anyway, 33,000 miles. Dash air is ice cold, and believe it or not, that dash air keeps this entire RV fairly comfortable. And the generator, uh, like I said, will function for the option A249. 33,830 miles, almost new tires on it. Stereo. Backup camera works great. Glass is perfect. 
Seats look great. Rubber mat looks great. None of the plastics are broken or chipped. Power windows, power locks. Built on a Chevrolet Express 3500. Generators right down here. And I'm going to try to read the hours off of it. Unfortunately, I can't get down there to it. Pretty tight right here to get to it, folks. So I'm going to take a video of it so that way you have it. Um, I'll have to look back on the video. And the generator, like I said, it you can see the orange lights on. It runs for a few seconds and dies. So it's obviously a carburetor, which is not that big a deal. We are going to fix it for the 24-9, or we may try to fix it beforehand. Like I said, if we get the manpower freed up. But it is a 4K. It's got the 2.8. It's a little bit more reliable. Um, Coleman mock air conditioner. Got the carpeted headliner that looks great. Uh, got a Norcold refrigerator. Already getting cold, so I know it works. Ah, right, look at that, folks. You know what we call that where I'm from? An ice maker. And it's already getting cold, so we know that works. And this is a carriage, so you've got solid wood cabinets. Got a nice sliding pantry right here. So, I mean, considering you're only in a 24-foot motorhome, which is about as small as you can get without getting one of those small camper vans that's so small you can't even change your mind in, um, you get a lot of room in here. Over here, should have a TV if it's still in here. Yep. Original CRT TV. Got some stuff in here. Here's the books and manuals. Um, I'm going to lay them on the table. Books and manuals. And uh, you got a VCR DVD player. Table booth makes a bed. Sleep two kids, one adult. So you can sleep technically up to four. Got a full size bed in the back. Got a side kitchen. This has got the grill to confection oven microwave. So you can bake in here as well as microwave something. Two burner stove top. Doesn't look like it's ever been lit, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, DSI water heater. You can push a button, it lights itself. Full size bed in the back. Got a little mini closet, I guess is what you'd call that right there. Oh, overhead storage. Of course, I know you really can't tell much, but good solid wood cabinets. Got day night shades in the windows back here. Big closet over here. You know, really, folks, I would rate this as far as storage capacity inside well above average for a 24 foot motorhome. Got a rear bathroom. This is a wet bath. And this is actually makes a huge shower, folks. This whole bathroom's your shower. You've got a seat right there. If you've got somebody that can't stand for a long period of time, that's a pretty good size seat for them to sit on and take a shower. And it's all got the plastic and everything, so pretty nice. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, folks, this video is going to get a ton of views. I'm going to tell you right now. 24 foot Class B plus motorhome, especially right now, how scarce these small motorhomes are. Yeah. This one right here is not going to last long. So if you call, don't be surprised if it's already got a deposit or already gone. <coughs> anyway, folks, 33,000 miles, which in itself is very rare. Here, here's what you run across with these small motorhomes, folks. People that own these size motorhomes, they don't let them become driveway queens because you got to realize this is as easy to drive and park as a is a full-size van or a full-size SUV or pickup truck. So here's what you run into. People use these a lot more. You know, they just don't take them to the beach for a week or to the mountains for a week. I mean, they take these things to ball games. They take them to flea markets. They take them to uh, events, craft shows, whatever you're into, folks. They use them for day trips, for weekend trips, for cross-country trips. I mean, they're one of the most versatile vehicles you can own. Car broke down in the shop. <coughs> <coughs> need something to drive for a few days while it's getting repaired there you go use it for a second vehicle so generally compared to like I say a 38 foot class A like I own that gets used two or three times a year 
these generally have a lot more miles on them. So to find one with 33, to find one period is rare used, but to find one with only 33,000 miles is almost unheard of, especially for this price. Um, I mean, this got almost new tires on it, folks. I mean, 24 9. Let me tell you what all you're going to get. You're going to get this beautiful 33,000 mile carry go by carriage model 2310, 2001 model. Checked out, ready to go. We don't check it out until we sell it. So, my RV techs are going to make sure the generator functions perfectly. We're going to make sure the air conditioners, which obviously work, work great. I can tell you right now, the refrigerator, the roof air, and the backup camera and the lights work perfectly in the dash air. Uh, we're going to check the plumbing. We're going to check the propane system. We're going to check all your drawers, cabinets. Make sure your table lets down like it's supposed to. We're going to check your awning. Make sure it's in good shape. Um, oh, gosh. What are we, we going to do, folks? I mean, we literally check everything you can think of. Um, at least 90, 95% of the systems on this RV, we will check. We call it the RV component checkout, but it's a pretty much everything you can think of. The only thing we don't cover is tires because used RVs have used tires on them, so we don't guarantee them in any shape, form, or fashion. But these things were put on a couple, two years ago, and they don't look like they've got two or 3,000 miles on them, if even that much. I don't think tires is going to be an issue for several more years. We don't guarantee dash airs, but the dash air is ice cold in this one, so boom, there you go. And the only other thing I haven't checked is a TV. We don't we don't guarantee TVs. But be honest with you, folks, TVs are ridiculously ridiculously expensive uh, uh, cheap now. They're not like they used to be. I mean, we can put a. Of course, I doubt a 32 would fit up there. We can put a 32 inch TV in one uh, LED for 150 bucks, and that's TV mount and labor. So TV is not an expensive thing anymore. So. In fact, a lot of people ever buys this, even though I like the original equipment if it works because it fits the hole perfectly, but chances are whoever's going to buy this is going to put a new TV in anyway. And if you want us to put a TV in, like I said, folks, it's 150 bucks, or excuse me, no, it's $200 for a 32 inch, and I believe 19 inches, is 150 bucks installed. And if you've got a question about that, just tell your salesperson, he'll give you a price and and add it to the uh, add it to the price if you want to add it to it. Um, of course, you know you're not buying a twenty-five thousand dollar motorhome to watch TV in. I know that, so I know that's very low priority. But I'm just letting you know about it. In fact, if folks, if you're buying a twenty-five thousand dollar motorhome to watch TV, I can save you about twenty-four eight and send you to Walmart, <laughs> and say, and I can save you about twenty-four thousand eight hundred. So. Definitely, though, it does have all that, but we don't guarantee the TVs or, like, the DVD players, components, stuff like that. But we check all the stuff that's important. All the stuff that can ruin a camping trip, we make sure it functions flawlessly. If anything on our standard checkout list does not work, we replace it, repair it, at no additional cost to you. So no matter what it costs to make this motorhome pass our inspection, even if we lose money, the price to you is still $24.9, and that is, of course, haggle-free, which means firm, non-negotiable. Doesn't matter if you're paying cash, doesn't matter if you're financing, doesn't matter if you're trading or a combination of the three. That's the price if you want it checked. So once you purchase this RV, it goes in line to get checked out. Take us about a week, week and a half, roughly. Uh, you want to verify that with your salesperson, of course, because that changes day to day. But once this unit's checked out, my service manager, and he's happy with how everything is mechanically, he's happy with how clean it is, we're going to wash it, of course, clean the inside, he will call you, and only our service manager, Gordy, can set an appointment for you to pick your motorhome up or have it delivered. So your salesman can't do it, I can't do it, finance manager can't do it, the only person that can set an appointment is the service manager, whose name is Gordy, and he'll call you set up a mutually beneficial time uh, but I'm telling you all this folks we've had some confusion lately uh, people coming in and oh he said he said he'd be ready by this time well he's not the service manager whoever you talk to because he's the only one that can set up an appointment so I'm just I'm going to try to verify this so everybody knows the procedure in all the videos uh, so only the service manager will call you he'll set up a mutually beneficial time you arrive on time, and the RV tech that checked this motorhome out, that knows it better than anybody, is going to spend some time with you. 
He's going to do a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough demonstration. He's going to show you that everything works. He's going to show you how to operate everything, how to hook up at the campground, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, uh, show you any repairs you had to do, and, of course, answer any questions you have. Uh, that's invaluable, especially for those of you this is your first RV purchase. You'll greatly appreciate that. No additional cost for that. That's at the option A, 24 9 price. Um, after uh, you take this unit, you're going to get 21 nights of free camping. Because let's be honest with you folks, you buy this nice little motorhome with low miles, you're going to want to use it. So we give you 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide. If you want a list of that, those resorts, contact the sales department. They'll be happy to send it to you. Uh, they're anywhere from Florida. When I've stayed at the one in Florida, it's right between Daytona and Orlando. So you're close to the beach, you're close to Disney, and it was a clean park. And they've got them as up, up Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Ohio, the Carolinas. I mean, they've got several spots that I'm hoping to check out later too. And it's absolutely free, up to seven nights at a time. Um, that's included. Plus you get a drive out tag, you get a starter kit, which is a big five gallon bucket with your sewer hose, with your uh, electrical adapters, toilet paper chemicals, and of course the guy, the RV tech giving you the demonstration walkthrough will tell you how to use all that, how to hook it up and all that stuff. That's included. And uh, you get an instructional DVD to watch at home and much more. And you can record the tech when he gives you the walkthrough demonstration with your cell phone, with a camera, however you want to do it. We're fine with that. In fact, we'd read that you record it. That way you can go back and of course, you know, we'll always help you out on the phone, folks. If you have a hard time remembering something or how to operate this or how to hook this up, you can call us, folks. We'll be glad to do our best to talk you through it over the phone. And uh, and we don't charge anything for that. That's no problem. It's just, we're just glad to help you. Um, that's included, all-inclusive, 24-9 plus applicable sales tax. If you've got a question how much your tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, whether it's to us or you pay your sales tax to your local county tag office. That's, like I said, you'll have to uh, contact my sales department, tell them where you live. They'll get you that information. So folks, we make it very simple. We're not like other RV dealers. We don't have any fees. You know, you go to these other RV dealerships, you make a deal with them. They're gonna start adding on dock fees, setup fees, freight fees, dock fees, and all this junk that's all 100% dealer profit. And they'll give you a really good song and dance why they have to charge it. But at the end of the day, you're paying thousands of dollars for nut for something that's 100% unnecessary and 100% dealer profit. It's a scam, really. It allows these big corporate RV dealers like Rip Off World and, and other ones that are similar to, um, and notice I didn't say the name, so. <laughs> and um, what they'll do is they will, um, you agree on a price, and they start adding these thousands of dollars in fees, 100% unnecessary. The only thing you're required by law to pay is the sales price and any applicable sales tax. And that's what I said, folks. Call us. We'll get you an accurate quote on sales tax and when and where you got to pay it. And it depends on how you pay as well. And every state's different. There's no universal sales tax law. So if you got a question about that, give us a call. We'll help you out with that so there's no surprises for anybody. While you got the salesperson on the phone, ask him to send you over a list of all the systems that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay. And then he'll also, he can also go over if you've got any extras you want done, like the TV installed, stuff like that. I mean, he'll be happy to get you that as well. Um, a price on that if you want to do that no obligation and stuff like that folks we're not I mean obviously $200 to install a 32 inch TV we're not making money on that but but like I said we do that to to benefit our customers and to make it a little easier to make your decision about what do you want to buy and um, you got any questions about that of course my salesperson will answer it when you got them on the phone he'll also tell you what the current lead time is for a class B plus checkout and you get all that information before you make an informed decision whether you want to buy it or not. And here, here's my personal recommendation. Uh, with 20 plus years of experience in this industry, folks, I've, I've bought more RVs than you could possibly imagine. Um, I've owned several myself. Here's my thing. I never buy, and, and this may be shooting myself in the foot, 
to a lot of dealers. I never buy a used vehicle sight unseen. Now, new, you can justify it because they're new. They got a new warranty. But when it comes to a used vehicle, I only, I strongly recommend you come look at it in person before you decide if you want to buy it. And before you decide if you want the option A price, and we also have forgot to mention an option B price. You buy the motor home like it says, generator, you like it is, everything just like you see in the video. No warranty, no checkout, of course you don't get a warranty on an 01 anyway. Uh, but no um, no guarantee of any kind, no inspection, no walkthrough demonstration, no free camping. Basically, a jump in it and go price only. Take the good with any potential bad, which we know the generator needs a carburetor. Um, <coughs> but like I said, we haven't checked the awning, fridge. I mean, we've got the fridge going, but we haven't checked propane, water, anything like that. So if you're willing to buy one as is, as long as you understand that the term as is means as is, you're 100% responsible for any repairs this RV may need now and in the future. No matter what it is, it don't matter if it's a motor, if it's a transmission, if it's a rear end, an air conditioner, a fridge, a light bulb, a, a water pump, anything like that, folks. As long as you understand as is means you're buying it as is. And if you're willing to buy it under those conditions, We'll give you a discount off our already low uh, price. And if you want to know what the option B price is, just simply pick up a phone, 706-965-7929, and get with my salesperson. He'll give you a price. It's haggle-free as well. You can decide. Like I said, come look at it. Like I was saying, inspect it yourself, test drive it, and then decide if you want to buy it, and then decide if you want the option A or B price. That's as fair as I can be, folks. And I know most dealerships would be the exact opposite. Oh, we want you to buy this over the Internet. We want you to send us your money, and you don't know what you're buying until it's too late to do anything about it. Well, folks, we're not like that. I want you to come look at it. Meet us. Tour our facility. Meet our employees. Look at our inventory, folks. We're family-owned and operated for over 50 years for a reason, folks, and that's because we're straight-up honest with you. This is a 18-year-old motorhome. I don't know anything about it besides what I've checked on it myself and us driving it five hours in. That's all I know about it. You know, I, unfortunately, you know, I don't have crystal balls and x-ray vision, so I can't tell you, you know, everything about it. But I'm as completely honest with you. Spend some time in it, get to know it a little bit, uh, and then decide if you want to buy it or not. And if you let the salesperson know you're coming, He'll run power to it, have the air on, have the fridge cold, so you can kind of do your own inspection on it, and then decide if you want to do option A or B. That's as fair and honest as I can possibly be on an 18-year-old used vehicle, folks. Now, uh, as always, any used vehicle, always call before you leave the house to make sure this unit is still available. Don't just blindly drive down here and assume it's still here, folks, because A, I never delete my YouTube videos. Look at the date at the beginning of the description of this video. Um, this thing's going to sell in a matter of days, if not sooner. So call ahead, make sure it's here, even if it's a, a year from now. Call ahead, and we may have something similar to it. I look for these all the time, and I'm willing to travel to buy these. If you've got one of these for sale, folks, and it's in nice a condition as this one is, give me a call. I'll make you a generous cash offer for it. Your model, miles, and um, and uh, and distance does not bother me, as long as it is at least an eight or nine out of ten. Because I don't buy junk. If it needs work, I'm not interested in it, even if you gave it to me. So if you've got a nice one, you don't want to fool with selling it. Give us a call, like these people did. You'd be surprised when we buy it and we, and we give you a generous. Uh, we pay you a generous amount for it. I have a huge market and a huge following for small motorhomes. In fact, most of the people on my YouTube channel is on there because they are looking for small motorhomes and they're almost impossible to find used. And who wants to go out and spend eighty-five, ninety, a hundred thousand dollars for a new small motorhome? So anyway, folks, give us a call. Um, Make sure it's still available before you drive down here, 706-965-7929. Financing's available with approved credit. And keep in mind, folks, I only have one lender that will do an older motorhome like this as far as a loan. 
So be prepared to pay at least a few thousand dollars down. If you need to know how much, just contact my sales department to help you out. And we're also more than happy to work with your own bank or credit union to secure a loan for you as well. Um, anyway, you can go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, see my entire inventory. Got a lot of used RVs on there, folks. I've got over 140 on the lot. Not everything posted online, but I'm working on that. And, um, you know, if you don't see what you're looking for, still give my salesperson a call, my salespeople. They're non-commissioned, so you don't have to worry about sales pressure or, or games, gimmicks, trouble, drama, lies, or any of that junk like you have to worry about from other dealers. My guys get paid the same whether you buy one or not. That's the way our buyers, our customers prefer it because they don't have to worry about stressing out or having somebody twist their arm, force them to buy something they're not ready to buy because my guys get paid the same whether you buy one from us or not. So, and my salespeople definitely like that better because they know how much they're going to bring home to their families every week. There's no good weeks and bad weeks. They're all the same. Like there is in a traditional commission salesperson's job. So definitely, uh, you'll like that. I did away with everything. Everybody hates about buying a used vehicle. I did away with commission salespeople. I did away with haggling. This is the price. This is what you get. If you want the option B, you get this. That's the price. And if that like I said, and, and I'm not trying to be conceited, but folks, there's a huge shortage of these small motor homes. If you don't buy it, the next person calling about it will. So, you know, there's no shortage of, of buyers, but there sure is a shortage of available units in this price range, this size, with this low of miles, as I'm sure many of you have quickly found that out. But anyway, uh, we did away with haggling. We did away with fees. Be simple. Easy transaction, folks. Here it is. This is the price. Come look at it. Come test drive it before you decide if you want it. You're not going to be disappointed. Thank you for watching.